Hello everyone. In this video we will see some true facts about ducks. Ducks are among the most common birds that we can see. In fact, it's not surprising to see a family of ducks at your local park. They may not be as fascinating as other animals or birds, but they still have an amazing biology. The most prominent question people have about ducks is, whether their quacks can echo or not? But they have so many more unique characteristics to them that you would never thought of. If you've ever seen a duck tottering about in the snow or swimming on a cold winter time, don't worry about them. Ducks have feathers for keeping their bodies warm, they don't need anything to keep their feet warm. It is interesting to know that. Ducks' feet have no tissues or blood vessels, meaning their feet don't feel the cold. The reason many people don't think that duck quacks echo, is because the voice of the quack makes it quite difficult to hear. A quack is a type of sound that fades in and fades out, which makes it even tough to identify which sound is the original quack, and which sound is the echo. You will be surprised to know that, ducks eat a variety of food, such as aquatic plants, insects, small amphibians, fish, worms, grasses and small mollusks. Many ducks eat mostly insects, in springtime and summer, when insects are most plentiful and provide the best nutrition for growing ducklings. When the season changes and insects aren't as common, however, ducks will switch their diet to more easily available foods. A duck's diet may vary the most in winter, when they take advantage of any possible food source. It's not for lack of having other food sources, ducks eat tiny stones, gravel, or sand. They store the rocks in their gizzards and use the rough surfaces to help with breaking down the food. That's one way to do it. It is interesting to know that ducks have an array of impressive eye features. They have great vision, and their eyes are on the two sides of their heads, they have a vision of almost 340 degrees. Because of the shape of their eyes, they can see things near and far simultaneously. Finally, ducks can see in color. Male ducks are called drakes, females ducks are called hens, and baby ducks are called as ducklings. In the end, it does not matter which one it is, because all ducks are adorable. Ducks usually migrate between 200 to 4,000 feet in the air. They are capable of reaching far greater heights. An airplane over Nevada once struck a mallard duck at an altitude of 21,000 feet. This impressive height is the highest recorded flight of any duck. Mallard ducks are alert even when they're sleeping. While sleeping in a group, there are guard ducks that sleep outside of the group with one eye open. By doing this, they can control which side of the brain stays awake, almost instantly after hatching, ducklings are independent soon after. The baby ducks are born with their eyes wide open, and have down feathers to stay warm. Baby ducklings normally learn how to fly before they are two months old. Ducklings, like all birds, hatch from eggs that are typically laid in a nest. Soon after all the ducklings hatch, the mother duck leads them to water, where most kinds of ducks spend the most part of their lives. Preening is how ducks groom themselves. Even though they take baths every time they go in water, preening removes dirt, dust, and parasites. It is very interesting to know that, while they preen, ducks will spread waxy oil across their feathers, which is waterproof. Ducks are social birds. They are highly social animals and this means they need other ducks to live with. As they are social animals they get along very well with each other and sometimes fight. They will become depressed and lonely quite easily thus making it difficult for them to survive or thrive. Because they do feel emotions, such as isolation, loneliness, and grief much like humans, leaving a duck alone or caged for long periods of time is emotionally draining for the duck. It is not wise to keep just one duck. It is recommended that you have at least one other duck for company, while having three or four ducks would be the best. These water birds are definitely more interesting than we give them credit for. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting true facts.